Hi, my name is Kendra with the Cisco TAC SD-WAN team. Today, I want to show you how to update all of the statistics database related settings in Cisco's SD-WAN vManage. Before you do that update, I want to briefly talk about why this is important. As your SD-WAN deployment grows, customers often see issues where they can no longer see seven days or even 24 hours of some types of statistics data for a device in the vManage GUI. From this example, notice that seven days is selected, but the graph only shows data for a portion of that time. Now that you understand what we want to solve, let us walk through how to adjust the three different statistics database related settings that are available. First, log into your vManage GUI. Click the menu button. From the menu, select Administration Settings. From the Settings page, find the Statistics Database Configuration line. Click Edit to update the settings. By default, all statistics types get 5 GB. The recommendation is to increase the size on types where you want to keep data for a longer time period. For example, if you want to see the interface statistics for the last 30 days for your entire SD-WAN network, you need to increase the interface statistics type. If you are unsure how much space is needed for you to keep data for your interval, vManage gives you an estimate of how much overall storage you need, and it also breaks it up into the different types. You can view this by changing your vManage URL. Delete everything after app slash and type in management. Click statistics disk size and then click statistics size estimation. From the estimation outputs, you can see that if you want to be able to view 30 days of interface data from vManage for all of the devices, you need 27.43 megabytes of space. With the default of 5 gigabytes, you have more than enough space currently. If you see the message insufficient data to perform calculation for any index, you either have minimal data or no data for this type. You can see the same estimation information with an API call against vManage. Now that you know how much storage is needed, go back to administration settings, statistics database configuration, and configure the necessary space in each type. You see the total size increases immediately. Always make sure your overall size stays within the maximum available space that is listed. If it is not within the available space, the size shows in red. If you try to save with the size over the maximum available size, vManage shows an error. Once that is corrected, you can save successfully. If you try to make any type have a size of zero, vManage shows a message that this is not allowed. The minimum allowed size is 0.1 gigabytes. If you don't want any data for a specific type, you can disable that type for your entire network or for a subset of devices. This does not make the section disappear from the Statistics Database Configuration Settings section. Therefore, it is still best to set it to the minimum allowed value of 0.1 gigabytes. Once you have done that, select Save to get out of edit mode on the Statistics Database Configuration. Find the Statistics Setting line. Select Edit. For most of the types, the default is Enable All. For any features that are not in use, you can select Disable All. If you know you only use a feature on a subset of devices in your network, you can select Custom. A pop-up window appears. For any devices that you want to disable statistics collection for that type, select them and move them to the right. Select Done. It shows you that type URL F is enabled on four devices out of seven in this network. Now vManage does not attempt to collect URL filtering statistics for the other three devices in this network. Click Save. 
The last statistics setting you can change in vManage is the statistics collection interval. This is under the statistics configuration line. This affects how often vManage reaches out to the device for statistics collection. The default value is 30 minutes. As a best practice, it is recommended that you leave it at the default or increase it. A decrease in value can put an increased load on vManage, especially in larger SD-WAN networks. The minimum value is 5 minutes. If you change the value, a reboot is required for it to take effect. Thank you for your time to watch this video.